What's going on? Alex here. And today I'm going to talk about the tax implications of Form 1095A. Now, specifically, I'm addressing a question from Reddit that we're going to check out right now. All right. So taking a look, the topic of the day is 1095A is kind of screwing me. And this question is asked by, let's just say a Reddit user, not even going to go there. So it says here, I was filing my taxes like normal. See that I'll be getting around the grand as a return. I'm assuming that means refund. Then I put in my 1095A form to find out that now I owe $400. What's the deal? I'm being punished for having health insurance now? After I pay my health insurance bills every month to WTF. Well, I'm going to tell you what WTF. Now, to understand exactly what transpired here, we need to get an idea of what Form 1095 even reports in the first place, right? Makes sense. Let's pull that form up, and here it is in all of its beauty and splendor. It's quite nice. The feng shui is strong on this one. Now, we want to take a look specifically in column C of part 3 of Form 1095A, and we see that it reports the monthly advance payment of premium tax credit. What does all that mean? Quite simply... If you purchase health coverage from one of these exchanges that are available online or these healthcare marketplaces, then depending on what you put in in terms of what you expect your income to be, your household size and so forth, that those demographic details, you may have qualified for the advanced premium tax credit. And what's happening there is if the health plan you chose has a premium of, let's say, $500 per month, and you qualify based on your income and household size and so forth, you may have also received a tax credit that helped offset some of those healthcare premiums. So instead of paying $500 a month, your premium may have come out to $200 a month because you're getting $300 a month subsidized. So essentially what's happening is the government is paying those amounts to the health insurance companies on your behalf on a monthly basis so that you only pay out of pocket your net premium after that credit has been taken into account. Now, throughout the year, that may very well be the case. For 12 months, your premium would have been 500. You're getting a subsidy of 300, so you're paying 200 out of pocket throughout the year. When you file your returns for the year, the Form 1095A is going to come in the mail. And when you look at it, you'll see the monthly premiums. And don't worry about column B for now. It gets a little technical there, what that really means. But the important figure there is the monthly advance premium tax credit. All right. So that was the amount that was paid on your half behalf throughout the year. The question then becomes, is that the amount that you were eligible to receive throughout the year? Because let's say you put that your income was going to be 20,000 for the year and your income turns out to be 200,000. Well, guess what? You no longer qualify for that advanced premium tax credit in most cases. So what's going to happen is you're going to have to pay it back. It all gets reconciled on your tax return. So whatever transpired throughout the year, if it's different than what your expectations were when you applied for the health coverage and you received that advanced premium tax credit, then you're going to have to reconcile the difference. And sometimes this could mean repayment of thousands upon thousands of dollars in advanced premium tax credits that you thought you qualified for for one reason or another, and then it turns out that you did not. Also, circumstances may have changed throughout the year. So it's very likely the case that there was a change in family size, a change in income, what have you. There's a lot of variables that can come into play here. But at the end of the day, if you received more or less of an advanced premium tax credit than you should have, it all gets reconciled on the tax return. So you're going to see that it all comes together and it could be beneficial in that you may have received less advanced premium tax credit than you're eligible for, in which case it's going to increase your refund. On the other hand, you may receive too much of the advanced premium tax credit, in which case you will have to repay that amount. So it's going to increase your amount due or also could also decrease your refund. All right. So that's a breakdown of essentially what's happening. So it sounds like in the scenario asked by this Reddit user, we see that 
once all the information was input before the 1095A was considered for tax preparation purposes, there was a thousand dollars in terms of the refund. But when this person put in their form 1095A information, now they owe 400. So what's happened here is an overpayment of the advanced premium tax credit by 1400, it looks like. And that's why they went from getting a refund to owing. It's because it's being reconciled on the tax return. So regardless of what information you put in up front, that's why it's important for it to be accurate. It will, at the end of the day, come out to whatever tax credit you're eligible for. And if you received less, then it's going to be taken care of on the return. If you received too much, then it's going to be taken care of there as well. So hopefully this adds some color to the overall question regarding Form 1095A. It shouldn't be all that mysterious. It can get a little tricky if your family dynamics change. So the amount of people covered changed or you had more income than you anticipated. So if it's really not looking correct in terms of, hey, you know, this doesn't reconcile with my understanding of what the tax year look like, then you may need to get a professional involved because that form in particular be can get very tricky quickly. All right. So if you like this video, feel free to leave a comment, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Welcome to the family. If you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, do all those other YouTube like things. And as always, hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for watching.